Hey guys, this is Mike and you're watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Saturday, the last day of March, that'd be March 31st, 2018. And I am talking to you from underneath the Route 83 bridges on the Big Gunpowder River in Maryland. And if you guys don't know the Big Gunpowder, you should. This is a fly fishing uh, gem. It's a legend. It's one of Field and Stream's top five waters in the country. It's also one of Trout Unlimited's top 100 streams for wild trout. And if you've never been here, I highly recommend you check it out. I am fishing the section of the Big Gunpowder that's below Pretty Boy Reservoir. It's probably one of the most popular areas. Uh, the Big Gunpowder actually starts up in York County, PA, and it flows down, uh, joins with the Little Gunpowder, and then eventually dumps into the Chesapeake Bay. And um, this section here has uh, many miles of fishable wild trout water. They have uh, wild stream bred brown trout. There's actually wild uh, rainbows, and I've even heard of wild brook trout, although I've never seen or caught one in here. Uh, so I can't verify the brook trout piece. Uh, I'm fishing just above the York Road access. Uh, there's a nice section that goes up to Macemore Road and then up to Falls Road. So I'm going to explore up through this section of public land today. Um, the water temps are in the 40s this morning, and the air temps are too. Uh, but it's supposed to get up as high as uh, almost 60 degrees today, so I'm looking forward to possibly seeing some bug activity. Don't know what to expect, but I'm going to be fishing nymphs this morning. So I'm going to head upstream here. I'm going to take you guys with me. I'll show you what I'm using, and uh, let's get going. Okay, guys, so today I got the hatch out here on the Scott again, my favorite setup. And then for a dropper today, I'm using... A small nymph that Josh Miller who's a member of the US fly fishing team I ran into him out at Andrea Larco's artistry and angling event and I told him I fished the gunpowder he gave me some flies to use here and this is a, a small fly that's tied on a barbless hook it's a, a jig hook and it kind of reminds me of like a small like owl's rat or midge imitation um, I'm gonna try it out and we'll see how we do and uh, looking forward to trying that. And then I'm gonna put some weight on there and then drop that below a standard Prince Nymph. That's like a size 18 Prince Nymph. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking that again, that's a good little black stonefly imitation. So hoping that maybe that'll net some fish today. And then I'm fishing that under my normal small lightning strike indicator. It's on a nine foot six X leader. That's a fluorocarbon leader today with fluorocarbon tippet. And I'm going to start right here under the bridge and work my way upstream. There's many beautiful riffles and runs here on the gunpowder. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, there's one, guys. Little one. Guys, that's my first wild gunpowder brown trout this morning. He took that Josh Miller nymph and uh, put them back here oh there's another one guys guys how beautiful is that wild gunpowder brown trout here he took the Josh Miller special. It's a beautiful fish. Oh, there's a fish, guys. Guys, another uh, beautiful red spotted wild brown trout. Look at that adipose fin. It looks like somebody painted it. Uh, he took the Josh Miller fly as well on the dropper. Oh, there's another one, guys. It's not too often you get two out of the same hole on the gunpowder. Guys, I just caught another one out of this uh, 
this little hole here underneath this fallen tree and it's not every day you do catch two on the gunpowder out of the same spot. Usually one shakes up the hole, but uh, must be a few fish in here. I'll put them up to the camera real quick. Beautiful uh, wild brown trout here on the gunpowder. There he is, guys. Just a, such a beautiful fish. Look at those beautiful, perfect fins. Oh, there's one. Guys, this little guy took a size 20 Frenchie with a red collar that I tied above Josh Miller's fly here. There's one, guys. There's another one. There's another one, guys. Guys, as you can see, this fish took the uh, Josh Miller fly there that, that I showed you. They seem to like this. There's one. Okay guys, I did pretty good down below there. Uh, just jumped up here to Falls Road, which is the last road that crosses the gunpowder before the Pretty Boy Reservoir Dam. So I'm gonna jump in here at Falls Road and walk up to the dam. It's a pretty good hike. Um, I just met a fan in the parking lot up here. His name was John. He was up here with two of his buddies from the city of Baltimore. They're in dental school. Shout out to those guys. I promised I'd send them a shout out. So there you go, guys. Um, we're gonna hit the water here and uh, I'll show you what I'm using to fish upstream. Okay guys, for the afternoon I swapped out that black midge looking nymph that Josh gave me for another nymph that Josh gave me. This is kind of like a small hare's ear. It's tied on the same type of hook. It's a jig hook with a brass bead head, uh, tungsten head, and it's got just a little bit of dubbing on it. And it looks like it might have a thin wire wrap on it, but very, very little if any. And, uh, and then I'm running that under a um, Prince Nymph again because I've seen a lot of little black stone flies coming off and I'm just convinced that's still a good fly to use here so we'll try that and uh, still fishing that under an indicator we're gonna head upstream towards the dam and uh, work our way up into uh, the gunpowder up here in the upper part guys the gunpowder suffers from Didmo which is a uh, stream invasion of basically rock snot I don't know all the technicalities and science behind it, but I can tell you this, you don't want it in your stream. So when you fish here, you gotta make sure you wipe your waders and clean them off real good. And uh, anywhere else that this stuff exists, you wanna make sure you do not bring it to your home stream because it is a pain. Oh, there's another one.
Oh, that's a wild rainbow. Guys, that's the first wild rainbow I've caught here today in the gunpowder, and what a beautiful fish. Look at the par marks on that fish, just gorgeous. Oh, there's a fish, guys. Guys, that's the second wild rainbow I've caught today. Just a amazing fish to catch these wild rainbows in Maryland. It's so neat. Okay guys, I'm calling it a wrap here from the Gunpowder River in Maryland. I hiked all the way from Falls Road up to the dam here at Pretty Boy Reservoir and there's some crazy flows coming out of that pipe back there. Um, it's interesting because there's a real deep pocket of water there. It's almost like a little pond or lake. And I ran into a guy that was fishing up here using spinners and uh, he told me he catches some pretty big rainbow and brown trout, uh, you know, wild fish in the 18 to 20 inch range out of that pocket of water there. So I thought that was pretty wild. Um, my guess is there's also a huge muskie that dropped over that spillway and is in there gorging itself on fish. So if somebody wants an adventure, they should come down here and uh, see if they can throw some muskie flies. Anyways, uh, it's been a banner day here in the gunpowder. I've only been fishing this river for about two years and I've had some tough days here. It can be very humbling, but this was probably the best day I've ever had. And uh, one, I want to thank Josh Miller, uh, who gave me the nymphs that I was fishing today. The fish were keyed in on them. Uh, and I just appreciate you giving me those uh, at the show. And I might have to pick up some more of those. Um, guys, check out Josh's website, Trout Yeah. He is a trout guide uh, here in the Mid-Atlantic, and he's also a fly tire. Uh, so check him out. And second, uh, I want to dedicate this video to Lefty Cray. Uh, I couldn't help but think about him as I was fishing the gunpowder day. You know, I learned a lot about casting. I, I'm by no means a perfect caster, but I learned a lot of things about how to cast better from watching Lefty Cray in person at fly fishing shows and also watching his videos and, and reading articles that he's written. And um, so anyways, I want to dedicate this video and this fishing trip to Lefty Cray. Uh, rest in peace, Lefty. And um, he, was a, he was a legend. So... Guys, thanks for watching Wooly Bugged. I'm going to call it a night, and I'll catch up with you guys next weekend. Tight lines.